this is my new renovation of my kitchen sink and what I want to show you here, that is the sink, the way it looks like okay, and here I have a garbage disposal that I would like to attach to the sink okay, this is a new garbage disposal that is already connected to electricity and you can see in one of my videos how I did it and this is the sink you can see here that I would like to attach this disposal so the first thing I'm doing, I'm cleaning here around the place where the sink is is even if it's look new, you have to clean it that's the way it's looked before we are installing the sink here so we're first going to install this sink flange here and what we need to do, we need to put putty here and that is the putty I'm going to use to put it here so what you're doing here, you're taking a little bit of putty from this container and you just circle it like that or flip it What I want, I want a piece of putty like that, maybe 3 eighths of an inch thickness. And I'm going to put it here around this flange. You see, I don't have enough, so I'm going to take more putty here. I'll just put it here. So what I have now here, I have this kind of a straight line of a 3 of an inch putty. Okay, so I'm taking this piece of putty and I'm just putting it around this flange and make sure it's overlap. Okay, and then I cut the remaining. Just put it like this. So that's the way the flange looked before I'm going to insert it to the sink. As you can see, the putty is all over here. I'm taking the flange here, as you can see, and just put it inside here. Mm -hmm and then press it press it tightly as much as you can don't worry the excess of putty will be removed very soon so that's the way it look after I actually push it quite a bit you know manually and you can see here is the excess of the putty which I will remove with these tools, utility tools see I'm just removing it ok we remove most of the party now we can continue these are all the tools that you may need for installing of the garbage disposal. This is a utility tool, this is a two different range, a screwdriver, one of the Phillips and Flathead, hammer, and two pliers here, and different kind of range that you might need uh, for the installation of the garbage disposal. To attach the garbage disposal to the sink, we have here four items that are coming on the back of the sink. This is the fiber gasket. This is the backup flange. This is the mountain ring. And this is the ring. And I have to actually put them in the right order. There's the first one, that's the second, the third and the fourth. Uh, to put it on the back of the sink. 
So that's the way it's going to go. The first thing I'm going to use is gasket, fiber gasket. Under it is going to be the flange backup. Under the flange backup is going to be the ring. Here. And holding all of it is this ring. This is the mountain ring and that's actually holding all these items together. That's the way it will work. This is the sink flange you can see and here is going to be the ring. Okay, this ring will hold all the items together. If you look here, you can see there is an excess of putty here we need to remove also. So that's what I'm doing now, I'm actually removing the excess of the putty from the flange. You really want to remove all the excess because you want the gasket here, this gasket to be sitting, attaching tightly to the sink and the flange. After you remove the putty, just use your finger here, make sure there is no excess of putty around this flange. So before you insert this ring, just make sure it's a bit open. Okay, because sometimes it's coming close like that, it's very difficult to put. Open it a little bit. Gasket flange first. Backup flange second. Mountain ring the third. Now I'm taking this ring and I'm just put it tightly here. And that's it. The ring is in. Now there are three mounting screws that you have to actually screw it quite tightly but not very tight. You have to use screwdriver for it also. Okay, so I finished to attach it tightly to the sink. So that's the way it looks after I tighten it here. And you can see even some of the putty is going out of there. There's no problem. Now here, above the flange, you can see an excess of putty. This is acceptable because I tight the ring. And as a result, an excess of putty has been created here. What we need to do, we need to actually just remove this excess of putty. So is it, this is the time to remove the excess of the putty from the flange. You can use also your finger, but be careful because sometimes it's sharp. This metal is a very sharp metal. Okay, we finished to remove the putty from the flange. So now we're going to install the discharge tube. Okay, so the first thing we need to put is this gasket. As you can see here, this is a gasket. Okay, you can see I can how flexible it is, but it has to be here. Okay, so the first thing we're doing here, we're putting it here, inserting it like that. It have to be inside. Okay. Now this is the discharge tube here, and this is another gasket. I will say just to connect it firmly. And look at this here. Here we have the washer. It's a kind of a washer here, and you can see the Y shape of it. That's the way it should be. I actually removed it from the old garbage disposal. Okay, so this one coming from two, with two screws here, as you can see. 
what I'm doing, I'm actually put it here, alignment with these screws here, and just insert the screws. Now you really want to tighten it, because if not, you're going to have a leak. That's what you don't want. Now what I want to do, I want to attach the garbage disposal to the sink. Just want to show there is here, you can see here, a metal that's going like that. Okay, and this metal is going like this. This metal will actually go inserted to the mountain ring and then I can actually use armor or just push it from here just to lock the disposal to the sink. Okay, so again, you can see this piece of metal going curvy like that. It's going to go to the mountain ring. That's it. After you insert or mount the disposal, the dischargeable disposal, what you have to do, you have to go and just try to move it. You see what I'm doing? I'm just locking this position, but that's not enough. You need to use the armor here just to make it secure to his location. Here I'm using a hammer just to make sure it will go Okay, currently I think it's secure excellent to his location, it will not fall down After you attach it to the mountain ring and you secure it, you can actually start moving if you need the disposal toward the location you want it to be because I really want to connect a pipe here to this disposal pipe here to be here so here I put it like that and I'm going to actually connect the pipe, the switch pipe to it That's the way the garbage disposal will look from here. If I touch it with my finger, you can see it's actually locked everything here. I decided to connect the dishwasher to the disposal, to the garbage disposal, and as a result, I have to remove this restriction there. So what I'm doing, I'm taking a, I'm taking here a screwdriver and a hammer, and I'm hitting it. Nothing but piece of metal, so I can just collect it from. I can take it from up. This is the piece that uh, I just removed from the disposal to let the dishwasher to go in. Let me show you the hole here. This is the hole where you're actually going to put the dishwasher pipe. As you can see, I already removed. And the plastic that was there. I have to put a clamp here, which I don't have now. So that's the way it looks so far, as you can see. Go from here, go down, 
and that is the way the disposal is connected to the p-trap here. So I purchased this clamp, it's a three quarter of an inch, as you can see here, and I'm going to put it here and put it here and then lock it with a screwdriver here. It's a little bit tricky, but you have to close it tight, otherwise it will have a leak. That's it. So if you look, there is another pipe here, this pipe, and you can see it's cut because uh, we're remodeling here. And this pipe was used by the dish washer before, but now we're using the garbage disposal for the dishwasher. So what I'm doing here, I'm using these two parts you can see here, and I'm just going to lock it for future use and because we are in the second floor we don't really need to glue it okay just put it here close it like this because if not it's going to have gases here and it's going to be very smelly so that's why I'm closing it so I want to show you the way the dishwasher is connected okay so if you look here you can see this pipe of the dishwasher. Look at it, he's going really up. You can see here. The pipe should go up. If you look at from this direction, you can see what's happening here. The pipe should go up and not sh should not go down. And here is the dishwasher. So that's what I want to show you. That's the way it look really the installation of uh, the sewage pipe on under the kitchen sink. You can see here we have a kind of a Y pipes. All the pit up that are going down as it should. And the garbage disposal serve the dishwasher also here as you can see and this pipe is going up. As it should, there is another pipe that I lock. This is the pipe that I lock there. It was used for the dish for the dishwasher, but now we're using the garbage disposal for the dishwasher. So I just lock it for for, for future use. So that's the thing you're doing plumbing under the kitchen sink. Test the installation of the garbage disposal here. Uh, what we need to do, we need to, have to actually open the water here. But before, what I want to tell you, what I'm going to install, what I'm going to test here, I have to test to see first if there is no, if this one actually is sealed, and then I want to know if this is sealed because leak can come from here, from here it can come, or water can go between the garbage disposal and the sink here. That's the second point you're looking for. And the third point you're looking for, it's here. That's the third point, that's the fourth point here, and that's the fifth point here on the pit drop. So there are five points to verify there is no leak. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use this piece that probably came with uh, the garbage disposal. Just put it here, and the sink is actually sealed here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the water here, just to fill it up the sink with a little bit of water. And remember here what I'm testing, I'm actually would like to find out if there is a leak from the flange from here and there. So let it go up the water. 
Okay, I think that is enough. So the final heart, what is going if there is any leak? We have to go under the sink here. And we have to look here. You see there is a gasket here. This gasket have to seal it. But also the flange has to be sealed. It. So if you look here, you can see there is no leak whatsoever. Okay. Now the thing is now. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to release the plug here and let the water go slowly. Go under and see if there is any leak. No leak whatsoever. Okay, so now I'm going to put here a paper. But if there is any leak when I'm going to open the water, I'm going to press it immediately. So I'm opening the water here. And looking here, Touching my finger, no leak whatsoever. Going here, see if there is a leak. Peter up here, and as you can see on the paper, there is no leak whatsoever here. Let's say that our project was completed properly. So the last thing to check for this garbage disposal if it's working. So here's the plug. I turn on the switch here and you can hear the noise. Also you can see the vibration in the little bit. Turn on the water. And I can go out to see what's going on. No leak whatsoever. Closing the thing, you can hear the noise of the garbage disposal. It's working perfectly. And the only thing to do now is just to shut down. And that's it, that's, the test is done and this job is, this project is completed.